What's up YouTube? It's Andy with Andy's Dizzy Vlogs and coming at you Sunday night. Um, I just wanted to briefly show you, I don't have like a huge topic to discuss, um, but in regards to my diet, uh, I am following the, um, the Dizzy Cook, Alicia Wolf's, um, Dizzy Cookbook and, uh, thankfully my mother's a saint and has been beyond, I mean, I could not do this myself, um, with my work schedule, um, and just other things I have to do, this would be, uh, incredibly stressful to add to my already stressful work schedule. So my mom has been helping me immensely in planning, you know, she'll ask what kind of meals look good and then she'll, um, go, go shopping for my lunches and dinners and, uh, and then go ahead and cook them for me all Sunday morning and afternoon and into the evening. I mean, she cooks a lot. So I'm very, uh, I'm very grateful for that. And without that, I don't, I don't think that I could follow this, this diet. Um, but if you aren't, you know, if you have more time than I do, I would suggest trying this diet. Um, I don't know how much it's worked. It's hard when you're doing so many different things and I'm on so many medications and I'm on a new medication now, but I think it's probably a good idea to do. Um, especially if there are known, uh, food triggers, uh, with the heal your head diet, which I think is partially where the dizzy cook gets her, you know, draws a lot of her, um, recipes from is that methodology of, uh, of, of diet, I guess. So with that being said, um, just wanted to show you what Sunday looks like in preparation for the, the coming week. Um, so down here we have, uh, these are all of my, uh, dinners. So we have a honey, uh, honey garlic chicken, which just licking my fingers from bagging it is really good. <clears throat> This is a type of uh, Alfredo, um, and it's got cucumber and corn, fresh corn and fresh cucumber in here. And I think the uh, it's made with uh, cream cheese, one of the cheeses that we're allowed to have. So I will have this in my fridge, and they're vacuum sealed. And I did a video before. Here's my vacuum sealer. You can see um, in here I have... I'm getting ready to seal these. These were frozen. Um, these are breakfast quiches that my mom made, and they're also from the Dizzy Cookbook. Um, it's got egg, uh, uncured, uh, uncured uh, sausage, and shallots, which we are allowed to have in there. So I have, I think, four days of of breakfast and then with breakfast I will have a bowl of like a handful of blueberries and then three of three of these and so I'll just demonstrate I don't think I demonstrated this particular thing before now these I bought on Amazon and I just searched for vacuum sealer containers and there's not that many options. I'm just letting you know, there's like two companies maybe, or maybe three that sell these. And I bought a variety pack. So I bought this tall one, you get this one, and then this one. So you can kind of see, I have five muffins in here. I'm really excited about these. My mom made these. This will be like post dinner dessert. These are blackberry muffins, and they look really, they, oh man, they smell so good. 
So that will be like my treat after dinner before bed. So that's that breakfast quiche. So I highly suggest that anybody doing this type of diet, if their schedule is busy, um, because one of the things, the reason I vacuum seal everything is because in that book, it talks about how leftovers are a migraine trigger. You don't want to eat anything older than two or three days because as things age, the aging process builds up the amino acid tyramine. Tyramine is linked to headaches. So you want to prevent that. And all, all the foods that are, um, all the foods that are on the do not eat list are because they contain that amino acid tyramine, high levels of it. So that's why you can't eat aged cheeses, because when things age, it increases the tyramine levels. That's why you can't eat um, yogurts, uh, uh, fermented things like kombucha, kimchi, um, anything fermented um, creates that tyramine. So... Anyways, so let me give you a, a demonstration here. This thing, I think it was 160 bucks, I forget, on Amazon. This was the Nesco, it's like, I forget what the actual model number is, but there's two models and the one's only like, like 90 bucks, um, but this one has more, more features, more power. Um, and I would highly suggest getting the more expensive one, uh, has like double the amount of suction power. Um, and it can handle a lot more quantity of, of stuff at once. So with this, uh, container, like I said, this did not come with the Nesco. I had to buy this separately. Um, this came with the Tupperware so right now I have it on open and then I'm just going to flip this down. I'm going to hit canister. It's going to count down. And then the trick is when it counts down, it's on five right now. So it's getting all the air out. Four, three, two, one. And right when it hit, right before it comes off of, uh, right before it hits zero, you want to flick it over to the sealed part. And this is really hard to do with one hand. Uh, I left, I, see, I let some of the air out, but so I need to redo that. I can't do this with one hand, but um, I will seal that for my breakfast. I will seal this for my post uh, dinner. Um, but yeah, this is what an entire week's worth of lunches and dinners look like. These are my lunches. Um, this is like a, uh, a protein bowl. It's, uh, got seasoned beef, uh, with some, I don't know what kind of beans these are. Um, a type of brown rice with uh, corn and seasoned uh, uh, squash or cucumbers, I forget. Um, it's just kind of like a mixed bowl. Um, but they smell, everything tasted and smelled really good. So I got six of these. I'll take these to work like this. And so I got six lunches here. You can see six lunches. And then I have the chicken, garlic, honey chicken, and the Alfredo will be dinner. I have six of those. And then these are kind of leftovers from previous weeks. So I got two different kinds of meatballs. One's like a Mediterranean meatball. Um, and then I had a couple uh, chickens, garlic chickens left over. So I will kind of hodgepodge these together for next week. And that way I'll have, um, that's 11 or that's five and a half days worth. So Saturday night when I come home from work, I can just, you know, do something else. So like tonight, um, I have these boar's head hot dogs. 
and I had them last night, and it's just like kind of a nice change of pace to have something like a hot dog. Um, I, I had a pack of, I don't remember if it was six or eight. I only ate it twice now, and I had two hot, yeah, so it must have been six. Um, but I bought these at a local butcher, and Boar's Head is a really good brand. It has, like, you know, real casing on it. Uh, the meat is uncured, which is, like, the big thing. You can't have cured bacon. Uh, you can't have any cured meats, so no deli meats, because all that has, has been aged and has high amounts of tyramine. So, yeah, you can't have hot dogs on this diet, but you have to make sure they are uncured, and they're hard to find, so... But that's kind of a nice, like, you know, nice change of pace. And I'm sure I've showed you this before, but I have this. This is, it sucks to be where I'm from and not use Heinz ketchup. That's kind of a sin. But I use this veggie ketchup. It's made with tomatoes, butter, squash, carrots, no sugar added. You know, I just use that. Um, and then Dijon mustard is fine. Honey mustard is fine as long as it's uh, distilled white vinegar. Um, what else? Um, I think I mentioned these before, but this brand, you can't find them at Walmart. They have them at, it's going to be backwards. You can find them at Target. It's called uh, Zevia, zero calorie soda. Uh, obviously, by the name, you can tell it's made with stevia. Um, and it's very good, and I recommend. I recommend it. it tastes good. If you're, and I drink water all day. So I work outside. It's hot. Wearing a lot of clothing. Sweating a lot. So I drink water all day. But you know, for dinner, when I get home, I want you know, I want a pop. Um, but don't drink regular. Pepsi or Coke, it's terrible. So with the Zevia, they have three different kinds. They have Cherry Cola, and they're all going to be generic, generically named. But they, they're they mimicking, you know, Cherry Pepsi, basically. They have Dr. Zevia flavor, which is obviously Dr. Sprite. Did I just say Dr. Sprite? Dr. Pepper. I don't know where that came from. Um... And then they have uh, ginger root beer, which is one of my favorites. The Dr. Zevia is good too. They're all good, but it's just nice to have, you know, a little something that isn't wa just water. It's nice to have with dinner, you know. So just a little rundown of uh, food prep for the week. Um, and now I'm gonna put all this away so I have it ready to go first thing in the morning. And then the last thing I'll show you is, I don't really have any of this prepared yet. I'm just getting ready. So I got spinach. I have a pear and I have a whole bunch of raw garlic. Oh my goodness. This is not garlic, this is ginger. So I have a bunch of uh, ginger and I will take my, what is that? This is a little handy dandy. I guess I'll just throw that on the floor. Uh, I'll use this and I'll, I'll grade my, uh, my ginger really finely. And I'll put a whole bunch of ginger in it. But basically it's a, a refreshing, um, what's the word? Uh, hydrating uh, drink with the pear, the ginger, the spinach, and then I add oat milk, because that's what the recipe calls for. And then I will add a bunch of chia seeds, and I will add uh, these two things. So I will add, this is a combo deal. It says cold milled chia seeds and flax seed powder. So I'll add that for some, you know, good... Uh, omegas and provides three grams of omega fatty acids per serving 
and good source of fiber. And then I'll add the hemp hearts, which adds some protein um, and omegas. So that will be a drink and I will make that and put half of it in here. Um, and then I'll be able to drink that tomorrow when I get home from work. So that's, that's what I do when I get home from work is I'll, I'll make, I'll make a batch of this and put half of it, um, see, you know, vacuum seal it so I can have it the next day. So anyways, that's just like a, an overview of what my week is going to look like. And I just wanted to show you that since I have all of this sitting out on the counter with me and kind of in the process of finishing up. So, um, I'm trying to think, uh, trying to think how Friday went or Saturday. Saturday wasn't as good as a couple of the other days that were pretty good. Um, today I went for a walk and I walked two miles with my buddy that I haven't seen in a long time. And we had a nice, you know, catch up and that was really nice. But we went for a walk and I, I felt the same. And it, it was kind of, it was kind of annoyed because, or discouraged, I guess, because when I'm at work, it's not normally that bad. And I did have a little bit of caffeine today. And my sleep schedule was really messed up because of how late I stayed up last night. Um, which totally affects your, you know, your VM symptoms and your triple PD symptoms. So my sleep was messed up and I had some caffeine, which I, I haven't had in like six to eight weeks. I don't know. I'm not great with remembering periods of time, but I haven't had caffeine for a couple months, I think. And I had some today. So, but anyways, when I was walking, we did the, we walked for two miles and I felt like very lightheaded is not a good description, but the closest thing I can come to lightheaded, um, I guess buzzed like speedy, um, yeah, speedy, like just like, like a head high, um, and not because of the caffeine, because I've experienced the same sensation for months and months without caffeine. Uh, it's just, it's just a feeling that, that the triple B PD causes, I think. And it's a weird sensation. You just feel just kind of like amped up, you know, there's been many times where I've been months off of caffeine and, and every day feel like this weird, like you're walking around and you just feel like wired, um, just like, like you got spidey sense, like everything is like, you're way too aware of everything. Um, and that sounds like anxiety, but it's not, it's, it's not anxiety. Um, anyways, that's all the further I'm going to try to explain that. I'm sure, I'm sure you're, you all know what I'm talking about, but anyways, I gotta get going. It's eight, eight o'clock. I gotta be in bed by nine. Hopefully, um, I still gotta do laundry. And I guess go to work tomorrow. So and I got to put all this away and still make my shake for the week. So anyways, um, hope you're all doing all right out there. Um, if you guys have had any success, um, any failures, any, if you just want to vent, leave it in the comment section down below, you know, like comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Um, I try to post at least once, if not a couple times a week. Um, and I'm trying to give, you know, I'm not out of the woods yet. So like, I don't have all the answers, but <clears throat> if nothing else, you know, maybe you can find some solace in the fact that there are other people that are going through the same thing as you. And, uh, maybe that'll help you not feel so alone. Cause I know, and I've said this before, uh, on a few of my videos, but I just noticed that like in the online community, yeah, there are Facebook groups and that's nice. And you can like go to their profile, I guess, and look at their pictures. But like that, even though it's through the internet, even through it, though it's through YouTube and you don't know me, it's still, I think it does something more than just being in a Facebook 
you know, group with a bunch of people of the same issues, like seeing somebody type something is different than like, I think you can connect to people better. Um, when you see them, when you, when you hear them and it's like, that person's dealing with the same thing I'm dealing with. Uh, I just think it's a, a, an important human connection that is lost on a lot of those Facebook forums. And I'm on several of them and some of them are helpful. Some of them are not. Um, but anyways, I think that they lacked that human touch, I guess. And so that's why I wanted to create this channel is just to kind of connect with people that are having similar, similar trials and tribulations and, you know, go on this journey with me. And if I do happen to stumble upon something that is like a magic bullet and fixes me, I want to be able to share that with the world and hopefully help other people. And at the very least, you know, like I said, maybe you can find some comfort and solace that you're not alone. So, um, and I, I know I've had bad days the past week, um, where I was just, you know, I know how it goes. Like you just, you go through these loops and these cycles of you had a couple good, better days and then you have another bad day. And like, it's just, it's very hard to maintain a positive attitude, but you got to try to do that. And, um, uh, just, you got to do what you can. It's just every, every day, you know, I don't, I don't look that far into the future because I have to worry about, you know, what tomorrow is going to be like and, uh, getting through the next day, but that's all right. Um, you know, just try to keep thinking that things will get better. We just have to keep pushing and we have to keep searching for answers and, uh, and filtering through a lot to get to the, uh, end goal, which is to feel normal again. So anyways, hope you're all doing good out there. Uh, if you're not thriving, keep trying like I am and, uh, hopefully we'll reach the finish line and get back to our normal selves so we can feel good again. So, all right, stay safe. I'll see you on the next one.